Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to add rotator animator into Inmotion. Let's get started. So I have my ceiling fan here open. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new project, architecture template. Let's add wall and the sizing doesn't matter. Just make it big enough. And then let's add in some floors. And then the ceiling. So once you do, go back to your family and load it into your project. Go to your ceiling plan and then click component and you're able to place it in the drawing. So once you're happy, Set the materials for the walls, the ceiling, and especially the ceiling fan. So I'm going to set the, the, uh, the materials first and come back. So I've set the materials for the ceiling fan and the walls the floor and the ceiling. As you can see, I just put random materials so that when I import this to Twinmotion, the, the program will be able to recognize it. So unfortunately, what I found is that when we use C in Twinmotion, the, the direct link um, anything that is ceiling um, mounted or ceiling based family won't appear. So to do this, you can just export and then save it to your desktop or any place. So I'm here in Twinmotion. I was able to import it from my desktop. So I have the ceiling and then I set up some materials. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to click this. So as you can see, it highlights only this part. And if we click this part, it will only highlight all of these materials. It's because we set boundaries or layers of materials. So if we click this, this will be called proxy object copper. It's copper because I set up the copper materials before I place the wood materials here. So now that this is highlighted, we can right click and then copy and then right click again and then paste here. Select copy press OK. So once you have this, this is basically a copy of this. So we can unhide this. We can hide this and unhide the copy. So now we will be able to add the rotator animation on this. So let's go here, go to tools, animators rotator so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna find a nice view so that when I place this one I'll be dead center so I'm just checking so it looks like it's good enough so I'm gonna click this So be careful when you're clicking this because 
I'm clicking actually the light. So I'm just going to click escape and make sure to click this. So now we have the rotator. Next thing we're going to do is object link. Click object link and click this one. So now it's set to ping pong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click loop. You can change the material, the speed. So I'm going to change the speed and I'm going to go back. So now it's up to you on how you're going to set the speed. You can also set the trigger so you can turn it on if you want for it to be triggered. So just like the other animator, if you go beyond the perimeter, it won't trigger. So if you go close, it will start spinning. So in this kind of situation, I'm just going to leave it off so that it keeps on spinning. You can set the angles and then you can set the delays as, as well here and the axis. So you can basically play around with this. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.